This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. It has been a risk off day in the outside market, and I think some of that volatility has spilled over into the commodity sector, pressing the dollar higher. You're seeing some weakness in cattle, but I think also this, along with uh, the, some maybe position squaring ahead of tomorrow's cattle on feed report, is putting a little bit of pressure on things. But I think next week's trade is going to be very important. There's a lot of technical support for December live cattle, 115.50 to 116. This represents the 50-day moving average as well as the original breakout point from September 14th. And you know we've been talking about establishing a new trading range, basically 116 to 120. If this support pocket fails, it negates that and could lead to another flush out lower. Now, obviously, we're going to keep a close eye on that report as well as cash development. So far, there's not been a whole lot of cash trade this week, basically steady with last week. Now, as far as the feeder cattle are concerned, uh, a lot more disappointing and a lot uh, less constructive of a chart for cattle. We've kind of rolled over. We failed to get momentum on a, on a, uh, an attempt to pop, but it really saw that roll over pretty hard the past couple of sessions, which I think leaves a door open for a retest on 151 to 152 for that November contract. If we make it down there, I think we might see a little bit of a relief rally. But until then, being patient and sitting on our hands for feeders. Now, wrapping things up with the lean hog market, lean hogs, very, very choppy. This is one of those markets where one day you're a genius, the next you're an idiot with the exact same position. We've been flying all the way around. We've been working with clients on the long side, and we have been wrong, but we've been spreading that off with some of the deferred months as well as using options to protect. So that'd be something to consider as well if you want to stay with this position. Right now, the technicals don't look so friendly. If we continue to see this weakness roll over, there could be more to come. So that's what we're looking at to wrap up the week. That's what you should be looking at, too. It's been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Features from the floor of the CME.